I'm John Park for Adafruit, and this is the Mad Science Test Tube Rack. So this is actually a fairly simple build, but it has a great look to it, and you can use it as a Halloween prop or another spooky effect. The Mad Science Test Tube Rack uses a feather microcontroller and ultraviolet LEDs. The LEDs are set into the stoppers on these test tubes, and they blink in a sort of spooky pattern. The test tubes are filled with water and ultraviolet reactive pigment. When the UV light shines on the pigment, a fluorescence effect is achieved, similar to how a blacklight poster works. I initially came up with the idea for this project by shining some UV light onto some tonic water. The quinine in the tonic water will fluoresce when you shine a UV light on it. Now, if you want to get lots of crazy colors, you need to go online and get yourself some UV reactive pigments. Here you can see I've got pink and blue, yellow, green, and so on. You'll take a very tiny pinch of the pigment and place it in a jar. Next, I'll add water, in this case about 50 milliliters, and give it a good shake. You don't want to oversaturate it. If you put too much pigment in, there'll be a lot of particulate matter and it'll block the UV light. So while this looks like a fairly dilute mixture, what you'll find is in the dark when you shine a UV light on it, it'll glow beautifully. So I will try now to demonstrate with a UV LED. And we can see as the LED shines on the fluid, the pigment fluoresces. Let's try that with the lights off. Now that I know it's working, I'm going to go ahead and pour the fluid into a test tube using this spouted measure. And now I can take one of the rubber stoppers and place my LED into the hole in the stopper. The five millimeter LED happens to fit perfectly. So I'll place the LED there and then plug the stopper into the test tube. And once again, when I turn on the LED, it glows. Once you've got your test tubes glowing, the next thing you want to do is put them in a rack of some kind. Now you can get some pretty nice wooden ones or plastic ones online or at a laboratory or chemistry supply. I decided to build this industrial spooky gothic one using half inch black iron pipe fittings and some laser cut acrylic stands for the tube holders, uh, as well as this little support in the middle that holds the microcontroller. For the microcontroller, I chose a Feather Proto. This is the 32U4. You could also use the M0 chip uh, or any Arduino or other microcontroller or even a Raspberry Pi if you like. In this case, I have 13 digital output pins that are supplying the roughly three volts per LED. Now I got away without using current limiting resistors because the forward voltage of these UV LEDs is basically the same as the voltage of the Feather. But if you're using another microcontroller, you may want to make sure to use a current limiting resistor to avoid blowing up your LEDs, as cool as that might be. You can find all of the details for building this exact rack and the microcontroller code is available online on the learning guide that accompanies this build. And that is the Mad Science Test Tube Rack. I hope you have a spooky time building yours. <laughs>